Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to finally the next episode of Need for Speed 2015 it is episode 30 and that was a car if you heard that that was a car outside sorry and in the last episode we did complete the let's call it main uh, part of the game we have completed all of the different storylines for all the characters so we have become all of the icons that you can become in this game and in the end we've become the ultimate icon since we did complete everything you could do normally when there wasn't or hasn't been this DLC with Eddie and his Nissan Skyline GTR something 34 I think um, yeah, be before that, that only was the, uh, the stuff that we've done, so yeah, but in this episode, we're gonna do the, uh, like, actual final edit, um, what's it called, like, uh, let's call it a side storyline of Eddie, where you have to do these different races to then, uh, in the end, face Eddie, I guess, with this Nissan Skyline, and when you beat him, you get the car, just like you got, or like we got, uh, these, um, I can not I can I don't yeah I can I can cause uh, for example this uh, this uh, Fort Mustang from uh, from Ken Block so yeah it's from 1965 what okay I did not whoa all right that's pretty impressive but hey all right so yeah basically what we're gonna do is um, yeah we're gonna jump into the uh, storyline of Eddie there's like one event where you have to like start everything and you basically get introduced to everything I'm actually interested in like who's going to introduce us like there has to be someone talking so yeah i'm, I'm pretty interested in that but yeah by, by the way uh there wasn't a video the saturday and yeah i actually thought that i wouldn't make a video today but I, then i thought like yo bro you cannot do like no video at all and that was just basically like i'm I'm just gonna quickly new kids in town. All right. Um, I'm just gonna quickly tell you guys what happened. Like basically, this happened. It's on the screen probably. It it says everything. I've I've just been outside the whole time and yeah, basically I, you probably also played. So yeah, I've been outside the whole time. And besides that, I either had to do something for school or I had was doing something else with like people we know. So yeah, I didn't really get to play in general. I just talked to like uh, some friends and that was basically it so I couldn't really record so yeah but for now let's get into this circuit race new kids in town beat Eddie's challenge number one okay Alright, I'm currently thinking, was that Amy or Robin, or was that some someone completely new? I do- whoa. Okay, I was about to say, like, why don't I get that fucking uh, cutscene or whatever. Alright, so yeah, basically we have to do this. Oh, it's two laps right now. Yeah, well, obviously it's a second race, wow. Alright, so yeah, this is- apparently we have to do different challenges until we actually get to take place in the competition. I don't know. So yeah, that's just what it seems like. Okay. All right. All fucking right. Now, who's that? Uh, goon. Goon. Okay. Goodbye, goon. This is so different. I've been I've been driving the uh, the Mustang from Ken all the time because I wanted to drift and all that stuff. And it's just so cool for drifting, but when you only drift all, all the time, like, obviously the car's also fast, but when you drive a Lamborghini Aventador, it's, like, the Aventador is just for pure speed and not for drifting, like, not, not that much. You can obviously drift, like, you're obviously seeing that, but, um, yeah, it's not, it's not pretty good for, uh, for drifting in general, like, you know, when you just, just want to drift, don't take an Aventador, take, like, any other car. So, yeah, but it was a lot of fun, but you have to get used to this car again, since normally I could just, like, slide around the corners with no problem. But now you actually have to be careful, since... Well, I didn't do any, any like, you know, tuning on this. 
but still, like, it's obviously a race car. Or, like, not, not, not a race car, but an extreme supercar. And you... Whoa. I totally missed the attack button. Wow. Oh my god. That is not good at all. Cop, please. Don't... Uh... Whoa. Wait, nah. He can't cut after me. Nah. Don't even think about it. Nah. nah, nah, nah. If I would have lost the race because of that, wow, I, I would have been mad. But we did it. 7k is like a medium event, right? Yeah, it was a medium event. So, yeah, but yeah, basically, you have to get used to the car senses, like a super sport car, and yeah, it's for pure pace. 1 out of 15? What? Melissa. Wow, okay. So, what the fuck? 15 freaking challenges? Okay. What's this? Sprint race sleeper shootout. Okay. Well, alright. I, I, well, I thought that there would be like, let's say, five challenges or something, and then you actually like get into a competition, like you have your, like, let's say, quarterfinal, semifinal, all that stuff, but nah, okay. Sleeper shootout sprint race, let's go. Medium still beat that is challenge number two. Heat two. Line them up, shoot them down. Alright. Who's that? That looked like Amy's car, but it's probably not Amy. But I just remember that uh, this Melissa actually uh, sent us or left like a voice a voice message or something when we completed the game, like, she tried to call me, but that was off recording, so I didn't... Wow. Okay, so, uh, but I didn't want to answer the phone, since, you know, it wasn't recording. And, yes, yeah, so because of that, she left that voice message, but I, n but I never checked it. And she was sort of like, yo, you've become the ultimate icon or something, or bro, you've, you've, you've done everything you can. You are the perfect candidate for any challenge. Come over and try it, I don't know. So yeah, that's basically what she wanted to tell us, I guess. We can't check now since she calls again, but yeah. So if I would have paid attention to that, then yeah, I, I would have just known that it's Melissa who is hosting this, not show, but this radio thingy that she did in the beginning, like from the first challenge where she interviewed Eddie or something. So yeah, I don't know. But, like for now, these events are pretty easy. Well, obviously, these are the first challenges, but still. Only 20 to 30 checkpoints. I still, I still remember the last race where we had like 100 something checkpoints. That was so intense. Whoa, cars, oh my god. 372 kilometers per hour, what? Oh my god, I still remember when we had to do this one. Uh, speed speed challenge for Amy where we actually like 200 something kilometers per hour and now we are just easily beating that Wow All right So here we are actually finish line and there we go 7k in the bank again. You totally smoke that you gotta post the dash cam. I don't fucking have a dash cam man What are you talking about? Oh wait, maybe it's dash cam. Okay, that's that's totally cool dude. All right Melissa what up? All right. Oh yeah, right. We have we have an app. Baby's baby steps. Show location on map. Ah, oh, that's cool. You actually have the map. I didn't. I didn't really pay attention to that. But yeah, you have that. You have that thingy. And I guess after you have done this, you can go into prestige mode. Like this. This. Uh, yeah. Uh, complete complete main story to unlock. Yeah. So I guess like after this, like this now counts to the main story as well. And yeah, basically after you've completed this, then um, yeah, you you get to unlock the prestige mode. So yeah, baby steps. Let's get this going. Heat three is a go. Uh, baby steps. Yeah, sprint race. I guess I did not take a look at that. I believe sprint race. Yeah, seems like it. Y no time attack. Oh, time attack. Okay. Well, basically, basically the same, but you know. 
All right. I don't. I don't remember what time attack was again. Yo, I just remember that song that's playing right now is from the original Need for Speed Most Wanted game. Wow. That song is so sick. Wow. Oh, time attack. Uh, oh, wow. So, th so the fastest person just simply wins. Whoa. I totally thought that you could, like, crash into that. I thought that that, that was one of those trash cans or something. What? Wow. Okay, it was a wall. Sorry. Yo, hearing this song, man, I have to think about... Uh, think of the original Most Wanted game. That was so sick, man. These challenges you had to do to get back your your car, your uh, BMW something that you can actually, or could actually... No, wait, what the fuck am I talking about? That you were actually able to get when you would have pre-ordered the... Not Super, but the this one special, Deluxe Edition. Then you got that BMW and something else. I don't know what exactly you got besides that. But yeah, you, you could have gotten like that exact car, but you can now obviously recreate it as well. But I don't think that it's the same car, like... The car that you got by pre-ordering that version of the game, um, I think is just basically like one of those icon cars that we have right now. So that uh, that was like tuned out to the max and you can't normally obtain that car in game, I guess. But by what I'm actually excited for as well is whoa, whoa okay is what was I uh, is the what is it GTR the Nissan Skyline GTR 34 so I think 34 I, I'm I'm not sure I think it's like the GTR 34 uh, yeah basically that car I'm excited for that like I want to drive that car and I so like like you like when you play the first games or the first. Yeah, the, the first games of Need for Speed, then you'll probably re remember that car. It was so sick back then. It, w it was like one of the best cars in the game, obviously. And yo, if you if you can then now g get this car in this game, th that's gonna be so sick. Like, if it's actually like, t tuned out that much th as it was in the original games, then that's c that car's gonna be so sick. Um, uh, what third? How? What? I think I don't. I don't get how time attack works. What? Get your ass over to another round if you want to pass this heat. Or what? Okay. Well, wait. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna try this again, like off recording, and I will see you guys whenever I'm, you know, finished. All right, guys, so I did just do it, and it wasn't actually that hard, but you have to focus so fucking much, like, when you make one, like, one tiny mistake, you instantly have, like, one or two seconds, um, like, let's say less time, like, you know what I mean? Um, in your lap time, and drift corner? What? Oh, yeah, drift corner, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, but I did do, I, I had, like, one second and something milliseconds, um, like space between me and the second, but yeah, still we have obviously the um, next challenge for Eddie projecting karma. It's still a medium event, just a quick spin in San Pedro to separate the heat, uh, the, the, the away from the uh, from the chef, chef, okay. Uh, but we're actually going to do that in the next episode, and I'm actually thinking to uh, to record these, uh, like, to, to just record the whole challenge today. It's like, it's so much fun. So, yeah, that was it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below, and leave a comment if you have any points, if you're going to want to anything, and obviously, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for the upcoming content. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.